Hi there. In the last video, I discussed supporting coworkers by recognizing changes in their behavior that could be indicators of them burning out. Today, I'm going to, I'm going to explore a little about how to communicate taking medical leave for mental health issues to coworkers. Taking medical leave for any illness can be a daunting prospect, but it can be even more difficult when it's for mental illness. It's not just about stepping away, it's about how to communicate this necessity to people at work. Many fear the stigma, the whispers in the hallways, the uncertainty of how this revelation might change professional dynamics. While I was battling with my own generalized anxiety disorder, despite my repeated pleas for help, the workload only seemed to mount. The realization that I was spiraling was both shocking and inevitable. Embarrassment clouded my judgment. How could I, a seasoned attorney, admit to being at my breaking point? I was embarrassed, and I didn't know how to communicate this to any of my coworkers, many of whom I considered friends. And despite the repeated pleas for reduction in workload, it just was relentless. And admitting I needed a break felt like an admission of defeat in an environment that demanded unwavering strength. Medical leave was my only option, but what to say? How do I admit that I had hit the end of my road to my coworkers? If they didn't understand months ago, how could they understand now? Ignoring the need for a mental health break can be detrimental. It's not just about your well-being, it's about your ability to do your job effectively. The cost of inaction is high, deteriorating health, diminished work quality, and strained professional relationships. For anyone witnessing someone going through this or who is going through it themselves, I suggest first acknowledging the need to take a break. This is a strength, not a weakness. Plan a candid yet professional conversation to discuss it and emphasize the te temporary nature of the leave. Transparency is key, but remember, no one is obligated to disclose what they're not comfortable with. If you are the one going through leave, you can try to seek an ally within your firm, someone who understands and can help with the transition back to work when you're ready. Picture, someone returning to a workplace where their health is valued, where taking a step back doesn't mean career suicide, but a wise decision for long-term productivity. Imagine a team that respects boundaries and supports each other's well-being. That's the culture we should aspire to create. If you're facing this tough decision or know someone who is, remember, taking care of mental health is setting a precedent for others. The courage to do so could be a catalyst for a more empathetic and understanding workplace. Have you faced a similar situation? How did you handle it? Your experiences could be the guiding light for someone who's stuck in the shadows.